Hi everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing this absolutely stunning, stunning, when I say stunning, I, I really do mean it, um, <laughs> deck, which is called the um, Embroidered Forest Tarot, yeah, that's it. I was going to say the rest of it, but I was going to literally read guidebook, and this is the guidebook. So this is the Embroidered Forest Tarot. It is absolutely stunning. I received this in the post this morning, and I just thought to myself, oh my goodness. This is beautiful. Now, I love all things embroidery. If you go through my personal Instagram, you will find that I was a fashion designer, and I love embroidery, painting, drawing, making. It's just my favourite thing in the entire world, and essentially... As well, with all of that, there is just, you know, my Etsy store and I love to make intention bracelets. So this was something that was right up my alley. It's just something I'm so, so excited to review. So it came in this box, which is a two-piece box. It's quite dark green. The texture of it sort of, um, well, the print of it sort of reminds me of tweed. And then you've got this foiling on top, which is um, in a really beautiful contrasting silver colour. And then you've got, of course, some beautiful illustrations all the way around it. And it's a two-piece that opens up. And uh, then you've got some information on it here as well. And the back of it says, the rest is up to you and your intuition. Where will they take you? I just think that's super, super cute. All right, so that's the box. Now this deck actually is quite expensive, but I do feel that the quality of it is amazing. And I think that when a person goes out to make their own deck, it's not like, you know, you having a publisher where, you know, it, it can be cut in terms of cost. You know, there does tend to be more of a cost as involved as well. So I can totally understand the price and why the price is a little bit more on the expensive side. It's a unique concept. It's um, of course got so much work put into it because these are essentially embroideries that have been that have been made into cards, right? And I think that that is just so much work and I feel like it's justified as well because this is more like an independent deck rather than a big publishing company um, essentially making the deck. That's what I have gotten out of um, reading all the information in regards to um, the deck. So um, we've got here, so Alicia actually has made this particular deck and also the embroideries. You can also check it out on Instagram as well. She's not paying me to say any of this. <laughs> Trust me, this is my very own opinion on the deck. So um, it's called the underscore embroidered underscore forest on Instagram if anyone is interested. And you've got the feed here as well. You've also got a website as well, which is the embroideredforest.com and you can actually purchase the deck on there as well if you are interested. Okay, so that's what we have and it retails for £45 and it was £50 so you do save £5 in that sense. Okay, so this is the deck, stunning, stunning box, we love it. Sorry, this is the deck, this is the deck's box, there we go. <laughs> and then this is the guidebook as well and yeah, we've got some information, well actually the bit that I opened it on, it's got some spreads, it's actually nice and glossy, the paper, which is quite nice, so it's got spreads, it's got, actually it's got quite a few spreads, my gosh, wow, it's actually got pages and pages of spreads, which I think is really, really cool. I think we've got at least two, four, six, eight, well, quite a few spreads and then we've got um, information on each of the major arcanas it goes through them all and there's a really good amount of information on there and then we go through the swords and then um, there's a little bit of information um, still a good amount of information on each of those um, goes all the way through and then yeah that is pretty much it and then there's some acknowledgements so it's nice I would say that this is not necessarily like the most beginner friendly deck but if you're into embroidery and also the foresty kind of theme and you love insects animals that kind of stuff this can be such a beautiful deck for you and also it's very high quality and um, that's one thing that I noticed here as well as you can see that there's just this absolutely stunning stunning silver foiling I don't think I have a deck with silver foiling. I think the only deck I have has uh, gold foiling, I think. I'm not sure, but I, I don't think I own something with silver, silver foiling. It's also got silver foiling on the back of them as well. The detail to this is absolutely incredible. They are super, super glossy and the most incredible quality. These are not flimsy 
at all. Just look at that. They are so, so high quality. I love the thickness of these cards. The cardstock is amazing. And you've got foiling again on the top here. And of course, this is a beautiful, beautiful embroidered um, embroidered illustration that has been made into, you know, a tarot card. It's, it's digital now. And I think that that is just so, so beautiful. The stitch work, um, you know, it's just amazing. Obviously, these cards are not embroidered. Like, I do want to mention that, that they are two-dimensional. But just the fact that you can actually see the shading, you can see this, um, the actual stitches as well, it's just absolutely incredible. The detail that has gone into this deck is mind-blowing. And I think that that is the thing that is just so touching to me as well because I used to work in fashion and I also you know have a degree in fashion and the amount of work that goes in is just something that is just it's you know it really is a lot and this is just so beautiful I can definitely appreciate it that's the thing um, it's just you know the amount of time the amount of effort that's probably gone into this because you know one piece let alone so many embroideries I mean you know that's that's a lot not gonna lie so here we have um the it says Ring of Pentacles, right? We've also got, and then of course, oops, it actually goes on the back of here. So I'm just gonna do a flip through so that you can see them. I really do believe that this deck is super special. Also, the silver foiling sparkles. That's something I didn't actually realize. It actually sparkles. I don't know if you can see it. There's a little like glitter. It just, it, it sparkles. Um, there's also a bit of glitter also transferring on my hands as well. I don't know if that's going to, you know, bother anyone, but there is some glitter on my hands as well. Um, so we've got here the full. Oh my gosh, like just those little accents of gold foiling. Everything is so well thought out of. If you look at the magician, you also see some little reflex um, in there in the leaves as well. And these little dots that you can see. You can see some stars on here as well that are... Foiled. I mean, just the illustrations are stunning, and I love how every card is so unique and different, and it just takes on board the energies. I think that's just the most exciting thing, is that every card has its own personality, just like how every card in tarot has its own energy as well. Absolutely stunning. Just look at that. So, so beautiful. Make fortune. This one, oh my gosh, with the two um, birds, hanged man, death, temperance, devil, tower, star. I love this one. I think this is my favourite one. It's just so beautiful. I think I'm going to post this on my Instagram. If anyone isn't following me on Instagram, um, it's moonlight.guidance. I'm going to post that one on Instagram. That is, hands down, one of the most beautiful cards I think I've ever seen. I just love that. I love anything to do with the moon, and this is just stunning. Oh my gosh, the detailing, also with the foiling on top, and then also all the thread work. Obviously, you know, the foiling has gone on top once it's been digitally happened, produced, and... It's just so stunning how she's mixed mediums together. So, of course, you know, she's done something that's obviously quite 3D and then made it two-dimensional. And then on top of that, put some foiling on it, which also makes it a little bit more three-dimensional as well. It's just the, the play on textures as well. It's just stunning. Oh, my gosh. Wow. I'm so excited to use these. I'm going to use them in my Pick a Card readings. Um, so we're on to the swords now. That, I mean, just look at the... I have not seen a deck like this, and I have to say, it's so beautiful, it's so creative, it's, oh my gosh, I don't even know what to say, I'm, I'm speechless, I saw this and I was like, whoa, it's one thing seeing it online, and it's another thing seeing it on Instagram, then it's another thing seeing it in person, because that's the bit, right? And you can see, I love how the cups also have their own coloured background. Oh my gosh, how beautiful with the swans. So stunning. Oh my goodness. And then we're on to the pentacles. I will say there is one thing that I struggle a little bit with, and that's the probably the font um, on this particular deck. It's just a little bit difficult at times to see um, exactly what it says, just because of the, um, it's more so the font. 
Um, so that's just the only thing, but I think once, you know, you memorise cards, <laughs> you don't really tend to look at it twice, um, you know, in order to read it, because you already know what the card is, so it's just going to take a bit of memory and practice, um, as it does with any set of cards, but wow, just stunning. Sorry, I'm doing this so that I can catch the light to actually, you know, read what it says. Um, so we've got here, did I read this as the ring? Ring of Pentacles? I meant king. See, that's what I mean, right? <laughs> the font is a little bit um, challenging for me to read. I feel like at the beginning I probably said Ring of Pentacles and I meant king, but yeah, I read this and it says queen. I was like, okay, that's definitely king. Oops, I do apologize about that. Yeah, it says knight, but it looks a little bit like Renite, um, just because of the way that the K is. Um, I don't know if anyone can see that. I really don't know if you can see that but yeah I think that's what really um confused me so I think I think the only thing really is the font um it's a little bit confusing with the k's and the r's or maybe that's just me but hopefully with practice I will be able to very much so memorize those and I'm so excited oh my gosh I'm so excited to use this deck I'm really really I'm thrilled, I'm chuffed, I'm so excited, and yeah, so definitely um, let me know what you think about these cards, I think they're so beautiful, it's nice to have someone make cards, and you know, it's independent, and creative, and fun, and it's just, it's made in such an absolute beautiful way, these are actually printed and made, I believe, in China, that's what it said on the um, outside packaging, um, before I opened it up, so yeah, stunning, stunning quality, amazing, love them um you know it has got the white border around the edge as well i don't really mind borders too much i know some people like borderless cards but i honestly i don't mind at all um it's more so the actual you know cards themselves that i really enjoy um so this is the review i think that these are unique i think that these are an amazing you know present you know for yourself these are such a collector's item but i also feel that they're so usable as well and on top of that as well, they are unique and they are different. And I think that's what also sets them apart is that they're quite creative, but it does have its own distinct theme, which of course is more like a foresty kind of a vibe, which you tend to find also in tarot quite a lot. You, you find a lot of like nature and a lot of um, trees and leaves and flowers and, you know, water. And you find a lot of those elements as well, which you would often find um, in these kinds of cards. So actually it goes well really nicely, but it's got its also it's got its own distinct kind of a theme, which I think is really, really lovely. And um, yeah, I would definitely recommend you to check out the site um, and see what's going on. Um, definitely glitter is transferring actually from the edges, which is kind of interesting actually, but yeah, it's all right. That's what washing hands is for afterwards, um, but that's fine. So um, yeah, this is my review. Uh, definitely I'm going to be using these in my pick a card reading. I honestly cannot wait, pick a card readings, should I say. I really can't wait. I love this color, I love the silver. Stunning, stunning, absolutely stunning cards. Totally recommend them. Are they the most beginner friendly? I mean, maybe not the most beginner friendly, but I definitely feel that this is a deck that gives you enough information to be able to read tarot and to be able to interpret tarot for sure. And it's unique and it's different, so. That is my review. That is my review. Great quality. Um, you know, a little bit more on the pricey side, but it's more of an independent deck, which I think, you know, we should also take into consideration. So this is the review and take care everyone. Let me know what you think about them in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel. And if anyone goes to Alicia's um, Instagram, definitely do let her know that I sent you. And uh, yeah, take care. Bye.